weekly vlog i'm out and about i'm in i've come i've driven to romford romford in essex romford is like the town that i used to go out out in when i was a teenager we used to go to liquid and envy in romford <laughs> high street also opium lounge was great buddha bar oh my god there were so many like pubs and clubs that we went to down here in fact one of my first jobs was i was a nightclub photographer in liquid and envy and it was one of the worst jobs i ever did it was like being surrounded by drunk people it was like 11 p.m till 3 a.m trying to convince people to like buy pictures that you'd taken of them oh my god it was awful but i was like doing my photography degree and needed experience so awful job that anyway i'm going on a right tangent i've come to romford to get some knitting supplies and also some crafty bits because if you watch the end of last week's vlog um you'll have seen that i'm still tr i'm trying to like do a gallery wall for our living room and i need some card backing for a couple of like mounts for a couple of frames so i thought i'd come to romford because there's a huge hobby craft here and i can get like yeah kind of kill two birds with one stone i'm also going to be vlogging more of like knitting heavy stuff for my knitting vlog which is i think is i mean it's half an hour already as it is i've already edited it halfway so i might get that up very soon so if you're interested in seeing my knitting journey so far i've documented it my bag is so hairy look at this this bag, this Uniqlo bag is like a hair magnet. It is so rank. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, I'm also meeting my mum and sister for a cup of tea after, which I'm quite excited about. And we've got a very busy week hosting this week, which I also need to tell you about. We've got a lot to chat about. But first I need some lip balm. Oh, I knew this. I wanted to bring some water out and I knew this bottle leaked, but I still bought it with me and now my bag's all wet. And I can't get the lid off. There we go. I'm trying to drink more water at the moment. It's not going very well. Right, let's go. Anyone else obsessed with the smell of foam? Oh my god. It reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Yummy party rings! I found these buttons that I'm gonna use for my cardigan. <laughs> Yummy, I love them. Thank you. you are having a bubble. having parents-in-law from Yorkshire is amazing because they bring down treats like this for me this if you don't know these are cheeky little rascals in Yorkshire there is a cafe institution called Betty's and it's like one of the oldest tea rooms I want to say and one of their like hero products are these I don't even know what you'd call them like scony things called fat rascals and they are so delicious they've got like fruit on top of them and i really like their cheeky little rascals which are the same thing but smaller and more bite-sized here they are so you've got cherry and almond double chocolate and orange and sultana i'm about to enjoy one of these bad boys they freeze well as well and the packaging is just the cutest so yeah, G's parents, my parents-in-law, are down in London this week. So exciting. It's G's mum's birthday. And so they've come down and we've got some really nice things planned. Last night, on their first night down, we took them to Wilton's, which is where we got married. It's still like a working theatre venue, music hall. And so we saw a one-man production there of Animal Farm. And it was so nice to go there and catch up with the pills i call them the pills parents in law have a tiny bit of food and watch the theater go to the theater together it was so nice to be back in our wedding venue as well one of my favorite places in london and tonight we are i've booked us for us to go to mr fogg's gin tavern in soho and then we're going to one of his mum's 
favourite restaurants in Soho, which is called Les Gargot. It's one of, it's like a, what, a, a super, super old French restaurant, still standing in the middle of Soho. And it's one of the only places I think where you can get like decent snails in London. And um, she loves snails. So we're going to Les Gargot. We're at third time there actually with them over the years. So today I am just editing, I'm filming, I've got a meeting with my management in a couple of hours on Zoom just for like plans for the year. I've also got a package arrived. I think this might be for a job that I'm filming, but I could be very wrong about that. Bag within a bag. <gasps> oh, it's not what I was expecting at all. This is so exciting. I had an email from Jo Malone the other day asking if I wanted to try their new fragrance. And honestly, I nearly cried when I got the email because Jo Malone is brand that I love, that I spent my own money on. I wore their perfume on my wedding day. And the fact that they've actually emailed me and asked if I want to try something of theirs, I was like freaking out. So I need to take a picture of this before I open it. One sec. Ignore all the mess behind me. What bag we got? <gasps> oh my god Whoa. so i've been sent their new fragrance which is called red hibiscus the notes of this fragrance sound so good so notes of striking red hibiscus are complemented by a touch of jasmine sandback and the sensuality of vanilla so i love jasmine and i love vanilla fragrances so let's give this a go Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna just spritz this all over me. This is also part of their Cologne Intense collections, which is very funny because both of my wedding fragrances are from the same collection. Myrrh and Tonka and uh, Scarlet Poppy. Both of those are also in this kind of collection. That's so nice. I'm gonna wait for it to settle down. Right now, it's, a, it's very floral. I'm getting a lot of that hibiscus. So I'm looking forward to it drying down and turning into more of a vanilla-y um jasmine i'm so excited about this so i should say one of the things i love about the jo malone fragrances is that you can layer them so on my wedding day i layered myrrh and and scarlet poppy so i think today i'm just gonna wear the red hibiscus but tomorrow i'm gonna lay it up with the myrrh and tonka and see how that smells because that's gonna just completely give it a different dimension so i've just kind of rounded up and ended my first knitting vlog so that will be going up next weekend I'm very excited to get that live and I'm just packing some of the wool I purchased yesterday at Hobby Craft away. Sneak peek here, my knitting basket. You can get a proper a proper lowdown of all of this in my vlog coming up. Right, tonight, Matthew. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you were talking to me. No. Tonight I am wearing a little mini dress with my fleecy tights and my boots and a black blazer, all black, the usual. I'm also gonna take my first ever designer purchase, the Mulberry, I think it's called the Dali. But oh, my fringe just needs a trim every week, I swear. It's not staying in position. feeling great today i'm feeling super low pms -y. like i hate myself <laughs> i just want to stay in bed all day i'm just like yeah have one of those days where i beat myself up and just make myself feel really rubbish and like what is the point of that like what good is that doing anyone honestly doing no one any good so i need to snap out of it i am off to meet the parents-in-law we've got a really fun day, day planned today we are going for lunch in chinatown we're going to have some duck and then we're going to go music to some museums we're going to go to the british library which i'm really excited about because they have such an amazing range of like greek and like roman statues and like greek god stuff and i'm obsessed with all of that so 
yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting out and about and getting out of this sulky mood that I'm in because it's just, I'm like, I'm annoying myself. I have to leave in like two, two minutes. I am wearing this floaty, stripy top with some navy um, comfy trousers from Zara. And I am gonna remember today to <laughs> get rid of all the fluff on this bag because it's so, so gross. We just got back from the most delicious lunch in Chinatown. We went to the Four Seasons, number 12 Gerrard Street, and had the best duck. Jay Rayner wrote an article, I think for the Times, about that restaurant and how it's like the best duck. The Guardian, I think. The Guardian, and it really was absolutely delicious. We, Me and um, G's dad shared a whole duck Cantonese roast roast duck and it was so delicious and but there was so much food we've got loads of it in doggy bags so we can have that for lunch tomorrow and then we we're going to go to the british museum but we're also going out for dinner with g's parents and my parents this evening so we wanted a little bit of a chill between so we've come back i'm going to do some work maybe some knitting before this evening but i'm just so excited because i just found a haberdashery near me and in my knitting vlog, I was talking about how I wanted to support some more small business with their, with my new hobby. And I was just so excited to find it because it's a little old lady running the store who I was talking to about like crochet and knitting and fabrics and yarns. And yeah, it was just so cute. So I feel like I'm going to become a regular in her store. I bought some wool, so I'll see how it knits and then I can go back and stock up if I need any more. Do you want to see how high fashion I am looking today? Are you ready for this? <laughs> this is me. This is me for the foreseeable. Didn't I say I was feeling pms -y and just awful, like hormonal and just being so horrible to myself? My period came this morning and it explains a lot. I just can't get over how much hormones can affect your mind. Like, I know it shouldn't surprise me, but every month it does because it is so jarring. Like, last night we were in bed, right, going to sleep. And G was, like, hugging me and he was, like, being really nice and kissing my neck, which is absolutely normal behaviour. But I just found myself thinking, why is he being so nice to me? Why Why does he love me? I'm horrible. I'm disgusting. Like, why, why is he being so nice? What horrible thoughts to have for myself. Like, how horrible is that? I wouldn't wish my worst enemy to th feel like that, so why am I doing that to myself? Yeah, but that's that's my brain at that at the time this time of the month. It's madness. So I'm taking it easy today. I'm I'm working, I'm at my desk. I've got um a couple of bits to do. I've just edited my knitting video, so that will be up by the time this video goes up. I'm also being interviewed today by like a journalism student who follows me on Instagram. She wanted to she's got to do it as part of her dissertation or part of her final degree i'm not really sure but i said i'd help her out and uh, we're doing a zoom interview this afternoon which is why i've got the tiniest bit of makeup on otherwise i would have been completely barefaced today yeah i've got snuggly pjs on like tracksuit pjs i've got my hot water bottle and i'm about to go down and make myself a cup of tea and some lunch saturday i'm home alone i'm so excited to have a day of girl time just chilling by myself like i am not doing anything today apart from stuff that i want to do so i had a little bit of a lay in i did some yoga i did like a 20 minute yoga stretching thing and then had a shower been playing some video games just spilt a cup of tea absolutely everywhere and now i'm making some lunch why is some tuna i've been craving that um joe and the juice tuna avocado wrappy thing i've never actually tried it from joe and the juice but i went through a phase of making this last year for lunch so i thought i'd make it for myself today so i've got a very hot pit of bread in the, in the toaster i do actually have to go out i have a hospital appointment um at 
the hospital I was born at actually, Barclay Hospital. So I'm gonna head there in about 45 minutes. I might pop round to my parents for a cup of tea afterwards because they live quite close still. Apart from that, just video games, knitting, chilling, eating. I've got, I've got a nice dinner to cook my, myself this evening. And yeah, G's, um, G, well, it's one of G's friend's birthdays and they're all, they're all going out out in Leeds tonight. <laughs> and they've all got a hotel. I'm excited for them. Right, is Maury's gonna jump up? Come on, tuna! Tuna! Tuna boy! So that is my day. I am still feeling a little bit fragile. I've also got the worst headache today. I'm feeling nauseous. Like, this period is just not doing me very well. But I've just taken some strong headache pills. Oh, you did it! You jumped up, you good boy! Where she wants some tuna? Tuna. Yummy! The rest is for me though. Who has been watching my channel long enough to remember when I cut my hand opening an avocado and had to go to A&E to get stitches? <laughs> what year was that? 2015? Um, I've still got the scar, I don't know if you can see. I cut right down like the knife just went like right down there and like split open down there and you can see my scar there. Apparently it's quite common, it's called avocado hand. <laughs> right, first step, more weights. Pesto, I don't know how much to put in. Oh. And then tuna. Normally it's tuna, well, tuna mayo, but I can't be bothered to do that. Oh, I normally put some pickled onion and uh, um, coriander in it, but. I'm gonna enjoy this now. I'm back from my appointment. I also popped into my parents' house just to say hi and have a cup of tea with them, which was nice. It's so, they're just so cute, aren't they, parents? My parents are like obsessed with going to the cinema. So they, they were looking at cinema tickets for tonight. Maurice! Even though they've already booked the cinema for tomorrow morning. <laughs> they're obsessed. I think they've seen like every single film that is ever out at the cinema. Maurice! I think Maurice is like missing G, but he's got me. <laughs> I'm just making a cup of tea and I'm actually also gonna make this other thing that I wanted to show you. So I've been having this recently. It's the FS Greens, the Free Soul Greens, and it's got so much good stuff in here. Ashwagandha, spinach, kale, broccoli, alfalfa, spirulina, cholera, wheatgrass, flaxseed, fennel seed, literally all the good stuff in it. Gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, veg veggie, whatever. Um, and I had their other flavour, which was okay, but this one is mango flavoured and it is so nice. It literally just tastes like squash, but it looks green. So I'm gonna have a glass of this as well because I've been trying to be good and have one of these every single day and yeah it's so easy to do because the flavour is so nice it says just add to water smoothies juice or recipes and I've just been having it with like filter water it says you can add like a squeeze of lemon juice as well but I don't think it even needs it because it's just so good as it is yeah I've been trying to drink more water recently so I've been like using my Brita filter system that I haven't used in ages because it's just a faff to keep replacing the filters, but um, it does make me drink more water. Cold water is so much more delicious than just tap water. I wanna be healthy this year, you know? I wanna do good stuff for my body and I never drink enough water, so that's something I've been trying to make an effort with. So I just pour some water, it says 250 ml. I don't know how much that is, so I'm just gonna do a cup. A teaspoon of this. It smells amazing as well. get my whiskey thing that I use for hot chocolates and just whisk it up and it doesn't look the most appetizing because it is green <laughs> but it does taste great which reminds me I should start drinking my matcha again soon because I got really into drinking matcha matcha latte every day at home so I need to get back on that because that's also got so much good stuff in it cheers 
I really enjoy that to say before i go make myself comfy two of my um like subscription services have just arrived on the same day which is a treat first up packed coffee i really like getting my coffee from packed um i normally tend to do it like once a quarter because it does take me a while to get through a coffee bag but these are always so delicious there's like different it's like sustainable coffee let's see what we've got this month Terrace Atlas. I think I've had this one before. Hints of chocolate and raspberry brownie. I just love the branding. It's so nice. This is a Brazilian specialty coffee. Um, and also, my skin and me has just arrived and I've just um, added like a full size of the serum that I've been really loving to my basket. Maybe an SPF as well? I can't remember. Yes. Yeah. SPF, get through so much of that. Got my skin me daily doser and also my... Um, brighten and boost calming azelaic acid serum and i've seen other influencers talking about a vitamin c serum that they're doing vitamin c tends to give me acne so i don't use that but i do use this every morning and this every evening so cool I'm going to go and drink all my drinks now on the sofa i've got <laughs> three drinks lined up and they're all a different color look at this cup of tea greens and Vimto. I just drink way more water if I've got a tiny bit of squash in it.